frantic moments caught on camera in Tolmanville tonight. Flames shooting from a house. Neighbors praying no one was inside. Firefighters rushing into that home on Gibson Street around 8 o'clock tonight. Our Tyler Finger just getting some new information from Mobile Fire Rescue. Tyler, it sounds like smoke alarms may have saved the homeowner's life. Yeah, hey, good evening, Lenise. That's exactly right. The homeowner was asleep inside when this blaze started, and thankfully his smoke alarms went off, alerting him to the danger of this fire. Take a look at the scene right now as firefighters get ready to leave after this house fire on Gibson Street near Leslie Avenue. You can see the front of that home burned up and debris now in the front yard. The fire is out, but that wasn't the case two hours ago. Take a look and listen to this viewer video when neighbors were frantic and worried about the man inside. Lord, I hope he ain't in now. Again, that man did get out before firefighters arrived thanks to his smoke alarms. Mobile Fire got to the scene around 810 tonight and quickly got it under control. This was a shocking sight for many in this neighborhood. Take a listen to how one neighbor described the chaos. I was laying on the sofa and I heard the siren. And I'm like, gosh, they seem like they stopped really quick. So I jumped up and looked out. And the first thing I saw was the blaze that was coming out of this man's house, like 10 feet up. I was like, oh, my God. And I ran in there to tell my Auntie Dot, Auntie Dot, Auntie Dot, this man's house is on fire. And she just, we panicked and came out. But then the ambulance and, and all the other fire trucks was coming. But they got him out, so I, I'm not sure. Um, he's sitting up, so I know he's not burnt, you know, so thank God for that. And firefighters say that man was uninjured. As we come back out here live, take a look. You'll see firefighters are still on scene. They're investigating the cause of this. They're trying to figure out what exactly sparked this. It's unclear at this point, but as soon as we get that update, we'll let you know. We're live tonight in Tolmanville. Tyler Figger, Fox 10 News.